Are you tired of constantly being raided and losing resources in Last War Survival Game? Leveling up heroes, taking part in events and PvP activities, or smashing zombie hordes all sounds quite exciting in this game. But what happens if your base starts to burn due to enemy attacks? In this video, we will discuss the top strategies for defending your base in Last War Survival. Make sure to watch this video until the end because I will answer some of the most commonly asked questions related to base defense. So let's get started. One of the most important things to consider when strengthening your base in Last War Survival is setting up a strong defense lineup. This means having at least two powerful UR tank role heroes leading your squads. But even after building strong squads, you need to decide if it's worth enabling them at the wall. There are pros and cons to both options. If your squads are stronger than the attackers, enabling them at the wall can help you win the fight and score kill points. It can also act as a defense against PvP attacks when you don't have a shield activated or if you have too many resources that could be plundered while offline. However, if your squads are weaker than the attackers, enabling them at the wall could result in losing troops and leaving your base vulnerable to future attacks. It could also attract more potential attackers during the enemy buster event, where the main goal is to gather kill points. On the other hand, not enabling your troops means that attackers won't score any kill points for winning the fight. This could demotivate stronger players from attacking you or prevent them from attacking multiple times in a row since they wouldn't score any kills. But there are also downsides to not enabling your troops. You will still lose a portion of your units with each attack, and it's almost certain that you will be defeated without the help of your heroes defending your base. However, you can still lower the risk of losing troops by upgrading your hospitals and researching healing-related techs, as this will increase the capacity of heavily wounded troops. Therefore, we recommend enabling your squads at the wall only if you have strong heroes. And by that, I mean 80 plus level UR heroes, well equipped and with at least three skills unlocked and upgraded. The Peace Shield is the only way to fully protect your base against PvP attacks. You can use gems to purchase one of the three different shield options, eight hours, 24 hours, or three days. Keep in mind that gems are a valuable currency in Last War Survival Game, so use them wisely and only when necessary. We have an in-depth guide on that, so make sure you check that out as well. The cost of the shields varies from 1,500 to 12,000 gems, depending on the duration you choose. A more affordable option for obtaining shields is by using Alliance Contribution Points, which can be exchanged for an 8-hour or 24-hour shield. Our recommendation is to use shields only before the enemy buster event. Outside of this event, your base will most likely be safe for as long as you are a member of one of the top ranking alliances on your server because solo players are the easiest targets in Last War Survival. Before we dive into the next tip, if you find this guide helpful so far, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks like this. Thanks. If you are looking for a quick solution against an attack on your base or city, you may wanna use a random teleporter. This can be useful in case your screen becomes red, meaning that an enemy squad is approaching. This will quickly relocate your base to a random spot on the world map and confuse the attackers. Please note that this is a temporary solution and it might not guarantee full protection as there could still be enemies nearby. You can buy random teleporters from the Alliance store for 2,500 contribution points each. Next, we recommend upgrading techs related to defense and fortifying your base in Last War Survival. These are essential for increasing your squad's defense and protecting your base from enemy attacks. First, make sure to upgrade the last three techs of the economy tree, food, iron, and coin protection. With five levels each, these techs can offer a whopping 25% increase in resource protection. Another essential tech branch to upgrade is units. As the name suggests, these techs focus exclusively on improving your unit's performance. Don't ignore techs like advanced armor and defense training, which provide much needed boost to your unit's HP and defense. In addition to upgrading economy and unit-related techs, don't forget to invest in the Garage 1 tech tree. Pay special attention to the six techs after Rapid March 1. Fierce Assault, Counter Defense, Vigilant Formation, Solid Defense, Final Stand, and Hold the Line. All six are essential for strengthening your squad and base while defending against attacks. Using resource chests or tokens without a plan is a common mistake that many players make in Last War Survival. 
I know how tempting it is to open the resource tokens right away and see your resource numbers increase at the top of the screen, but this can also attract unwanted attention from other players who may scout your base. To avoid this, it's important to use your resource chests and tokens only when needed, and that is through the Replenish All button. Whenever you need to upgrade a building or research a new tech, you should first hit the Upgrade or Research button even if the resource numbers are displayed in red. Next, tap Replenish All, and it will automatically use the exact number of resources from your inventory needed for the upgrade. Another way to make your base stand out and increase its protection is by unlocking and activating a unique skin, avatar frame, or special effects. These elements not only add a cool visual touch to your base, but they also provide various bonuses and buffs. For instance, the dual propeller base skin can give all your heroes a 5% increase in attack, defense, and HP just by unlocking it. Similarly, the Thanksgiving event avatar frame can boost your squad defense by 5% just by having the frame unlocked. However, most of these decorations are only available during limited time events or through purchasing premium packs, so keep an eye out for them to make your base even more impressive and robust. Being a member of a strong alliance brings multiple benefits, which we will cover in more detail in a future video. But one of the most important advantages is that allies can provide reinforcements to your base or city when under attack. This makes it more challenging for enemies to defeat you. Additionally, by being part of an alliance, you have access to a larger pool of players who can help with resources and strategies for defending against attacks. You should collaborate with your allies through the alliance chat and ask for help if necessary. Likewise, you can reinforce other members by locating an ally's base on the map. Their bases are displayed in blue icons on the world map, tapping their base, the shield icon, and hitting reinforce. Next, choose the squad you want to send and hit march. Keep in mind that each base can be reinforced with a maximum of five squads. As we covered in our previous video, the VIP feature is an excellent way to boost your base's development speed and resource production, a feature that needs to be activated for certain periods. But it also has a significant impact on your base's defense capabilities. The higher your VIP level, the more buffs you receive that can help fortify your base and defend against enemy attacks. For starters, reaching VIP level 6 will grant you a 5% increase in max units, allowing you to have more troops at your disposal to protect your base. As you progress further and reach VIP level 10, your unit healing rate will increase by 10%, ensuring that your troops recover faster to be ready for battle. Additionally, at VIP level 10, you will receive a 2.5% boost to your hero's HP, defense, and attack. And if you manage to reach VIP level 12, these bonuses can be increased to 5%. So make sure you regularly upgrade your VIP level with gems or collect the daily chest at the top right corner of the VIP page. Last but not least, one of the most important strategies to fortify your base in Last War Survival is to constantly unlock new unit tiers. This will make them stronger and more capable of defending your base against other players. You can do this by upgrading the barracks and promoting the already trained units to the newly unlocked tiers. The good news is that there is only one type of unit in Last War Survival, and you can have multiple barracks. Our advice for you is to upgrade at least one barracks as high as possible and leave the others for when you have enough resources or a stable economic flow, as upgrading barracks is a very resource-consuming task. What happens if your base is burning? If your base is burning due to enemy attacks, it means that your defending legions have been defeated multiple times and your base will be, or is, already randomly teleported on the map. You can either wait for the burning effect to disappear or remove it by paying 100 gems. Doing so will start recovering the wall's durability, provided you are not attacked again while this process starts. How do I increase the base durability? The only way to do that is by upgrading the wall inside your base. Should you stay on a random spot on the map after being relocated? This depends entirely if it's during the weekly PvP event or not. If it is and you don't want to participate or you don't have a shield, I would wait until the event is over and teleport my base close to my Alliance Hive. This will ensure you arrive on time for rallies created by your allies. Is it better to focus on defense or offense when building up your base? 
If you are new to the game, it is best to focus on defense first. This will ensure that your base can withstand attacks from other players while you build up your offensive capabilities. Once your base is well defended, you can then focus on building up your offense to attack and conquer other bases. And this concludes our guide on how to protect the base in Last War Survival Game. Do you have any other tips? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Last War Survival tips. Bye for now.